With the Porter Tunnel project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. That was a video of Andre Kelly before he became the champion he is today. Formerly hired for muscle to protect the Colombian cartel in Portland, Oregon, Andre went by the name of 8-Ball, shown here faking his own death. 8-Ball moved to California, changed his name to Andre Kelly, and signed up for the WWE. After that failed, Andre decided to go to the WFA and eventually become an MMA fighter. This is the story of Andre Chaos Kelly. So right here, Andre Kelly comes in his MMA debut against John Sweeney. And right now, he's just doing what he knows to do. All he knows is just brawling, straight up, stand up. So Andre Kelly just trying to go at him with the stand up moves. And then he's just trying something new. You can tell he's all gassed out from probably from all the trees he's been blowing. But hopefully, he could get his cardio intact. Andre, it's not easy being a former gangster in the MMA. And hopefully, he can make it through. Andre Kelly has vicious right and left hooks and this man was strong enough to c protect the Colombian cartel. I'm sure he could get past his first fight against Mike uh, John Sweeney. So right here he's just trying to pass up and you see he gets caught in a submission. He has no idea what this is. He's never been in one and it's brand new to him. He's gassed out. He has no idea what he's doing and it looks over for him but he gets out of it using his brute strength and muscle. So right here, he gets out, he moves this into a side control, tries to do what he just learned. Uh, Andre Kelly is very good at learning new things and is very good on the fly. So, he's, uh, so he almost does have this submission locked in and just maybe a second more and it would have been a fight, uh, fight over. But unfortunately, he couldn't. So he's on his back right now. He pushes him off and he's back in the position of most comfort for him. <coughs> Andre Kelly is trying to defend and get his first win right here with another vicious hook those hooks are just nasty to eat you don't want to get caught in one of those Andre Kelly known for his brute strength and this just shows the humble beginnings of the former uh, of the future champion and right here while he's gassed out look at how slow he is look at how bad his cardio is he does get the TKO victory but just barely so this was his very first fight and let's move on to the second fight. He fights this guy named Clay Atkinson, another unknown, doesn't really make it to the M uh, to the UFC. So he shoots for the takedown, he's been working, out, uh, working on this takedown business. He's learned a lot about it, so he's learning about passing and he's in half guard right now. So he's trying to pass into full guard and he gets it and now he's just grounding and pounding. He's been in this position before. You know when you take down people on the streets, right here, just pounding and pounding and grounding and pounding. And he's just in this advantageous position. He knows what he's doing. And that's just, per, uh, he's starting to grasp the basics of MMA and how to fight. Never has a rising star been found to grasp the knowledge and the basics of the UFC, of the MMA, of this business in general. Martial arts is not something you learn overnight. And people actually work really hard to learn martial arts. So right here, he gets that hit on him. He rocks him, and he's just pounding. And he will get the TKO right here. Another dominant victory for Andre Kelly. Cousin, uh, Andre Kelly is cousins with NBA superstar point guard of the Lakers, Brandon James. And the two have been in contact. Brandon is the one that told the UFC to give Andre Kelly a chance. And the UFC responded by sending him to the WFA. 
so Andre and so far it's looking to pay dividends Andre Kelly is reforming his habits he's quit drugs he's been seven months sober now and well, hopefully we can see a good career being made out of this guy and again those vicious hooks you see him working on that cardio he's able to stay up longer deliver some more hooks and he's going back to those takedowns again so Andre Kelly with the half guard gets him rocked again and unfortunately his cardio is not good enough to get the TKO over here so He's going to go back, you know, try to get some of his stamina, some of his energy back. Still delivering shots to the head. And he gets stood up. And this just pisses him off. The referee's like, what? What's going on? And then he just goes ham. He rocks the Schaefer guy. And he just goes off. Despite those vicious strikes, Andre Kelly could not knock him out. So he's just trying to pass the full guard right here. Delivering shots to the body. Not working out. So he decided to go back to the position he's most comfortable in. And try to get his... First knockout standing up so boom shakalaka right there Andre Kelly and look at this monster still going no remorse no conscience still hitting the Schaefer I don't even know his first name but despite that you don't hit a guy while he's knocked out and look at Andre Kelly gangster tatted on his back this is one ice cold killer in the MMA business and let's look at these replays again Look at these, look at this. He delivers a fight, dodges that and jab with a vicious right hook. One of those vicious right hooks that we were talking about. And he still goes at it. That's just plain dirty. I guess he's trying to get a message across. I'm really not sure, but that's gotta hurt. So, after this fight, Andre Kelly's latest fight right here. Well, not the latest fight, but fight after one of the last ones in the WFA before the championship is against Segurado, which... Still, no one knows him. Didn't really pan out and make it in the UFC. So, right here, you see he studied the tape on Andre Kelly. He's not intimidated at all. He's stopping the takedowns. And he's standing up with him pretty well so far. Until Andre Kelly decides to kind of go off. Kind of was teeing off. Not as much anymore. And boom, he knocks him to the ground. Andre Kelly gets another shot on him. And it doesn't matter that he's an open guard. He's still taking shots. He passes up to half guard and full in a matter of three seconds. He's trying to posture up and he gets it. And now he's just bashing and grounding and pounding like he's pound cake. And oh, it's just nasty. He rocks him. It looked over until he grabbed his head, pulled him down. And looks like he's going for the submission. Another thing he just learned right here. He's just trying to get him and it doesn't look like he's, it's going to pull through. He, it's going to get reversed, and now he's in half guard. He's in a dangerous position. Andre Kelly, his back against the wall, literally his back against the cage, actually. But right here, especially after getting beaten, he's still trying to get up. No success. Right over here, he's summoning the strength, but Sagrado's not letting him. And he finally gets up, standing up. You don't want Andre Kelly in this position. He's delivering those shots. He's gassed out. So this, uh, so Sigurado looks like he has the advantage until Andre Kelly's coming back with those shots. That right hook, that vicious right hook. So down goes Sigurado. And look at Andre Kelly trying to finish the fight while he's gassed out. And there he goes. More of these to come.